One thing you'll notice as we play through, well, let me do this first. Follow the minimap marker to find a quest objective, so we can left click on the map icon or press the M key to view a map of your current location. So we can do that here, and there's our map. That's where we're trying to get to. We have an updated quest, which is to defend Kaer Morhen. Um, also, if you hit the space bar, it will pause the action. And you'll see me doing that a lot because I like to pause the action to uh, frequently decide what I want to do. Um, gives it more of a turn-based feel, and that's just how I like to do things. I'm not one to use a lot of hotkeys and play quickly. All right, so here it's telling me about the chain attacks. You can chain attacks, or uh, chain attacks kill enemies more efficiently. Left click only when the cursor changes into a flaming sword. Chaining attacks requires precise timing. Clicking too soon will disrupt the attack, and clicking too late will restart the attack sequence. See, as that right there, I messed up. Awesome. We get a nice finishing move there at the end. Uh, you can really tell that this is a very low budget game uh, because you're going to see a lot of the same character models. Sometimes uh, this guy right here, they'll change the color of his hood, uh, but that's really the only difference between this guy and a lot of other units that you're going to see. Definitely not the case with the second game, but it's quite obvious that this first title was low budget. As you can see here, we've got a guy with a, I guess that's a purple hood and a red hood, uh, but they're really the same character model. You've just stunned your opponent. Left click to finish him off. Awesome. Stun is highly useful. There's a few powers we'll be getting shortly that are fairly overpowered, I would say. Let's keep smacking him around. Goodbye. Gotcha. And... We've got a few more guys over this way. Let's get him. Charge! There are some pretty brutal finishers. Hello? Oh, make you scream. Goodbye. Oh! Gotcha. Smack this guy around a little bit. Awesome. Alright, so we can use the fast style to defeat agile opponents. Switch to this style by left clicking on the cat icon or pressing the X key. So if we go over here, we can see the different types of styles we get for our weapon. And steel weapons, or this rusty sword, which is a steel weapon. Um, are good against humans, and shortly we'll be getting a silver weapon, which will be good against monsters. Um, and they all have their own attack styles. This is quite a bit different from what they did in the second game, where they kind of shallowed up the combat, I guess you could say. Um, they stripped out the styles, and they just have different types of weapons that you would use based on what you're fighting. Um, but I really do like the styles, and I wish they had included that in the second game. It's a nice little mechanic here. So we're going to switch over to fast style so we can smack this guy around a little bit. Come on. Gotcha. I love the way he runs. I think it's actually quite more realistic than in most video games. All right, so we can use the strong style to defeat larger armored opponents. Switch to this style by left clicking on the wolf icon or pressing the Z key. Get him! Mess with me and die. Took him out. You can also dodge by double tapping. Use the space bar to toggle active pause mode, which we've already done plenty of times. And we'll be doing plenty more times. You'll regret the day you were born. I'm gonna take out this fast guy first, and then the heavy. See if we can lure him over this way a little bit so we can try to dodge some of those arrows. Come here, buddy. Though uh, I don't think at this point in the game you really take much damage, if any damage at all.
Epic. So much for that 50. Here. Follow me, back to Savola. So much for that 50 orns. I don't think 50 orns is worth your life. Take this bandit out. You'll regret the day you were born. Gotcha. And for the fast attack. Hello? I believe these guys are more agile opponents. So we want to stay with our fast style. Keep smacking him in the face. Down he goes. Hello? Alright, so we gotta switch back to strong attack. Back to fast attack. Fear me, for I am Geralt of Rivia. That works for me. All opponents wish to fight me. Finish off the fast attacker. I'm gonna switch over to strong style. Awesome. Down he goes. All right, so now we need to open the gate. So left click on the winch to open the gate. So you can press Alt to highlight all usable objects nearby. You cannot use objects in doors during combat. Awesome, that's a very handy thing to have when you're trying to find items lying around. You're alive. You could have told me about the stairs. Lambert and Eskel were supposed to fix them yesterday. We're not masons. No matter. The professor and the other mage must be hiding in the keep. Face the truth, witchers. They're here to rob you. Triss, child, we have nothing of value. Some good steel, snow fox pelts. I mean the laboratory and you know it. Someone wants your famed mutagens. You're jumping to conclusions. Triss may be right. We need to find out what they want. One thing at a time. We shouldn't turn our backs on a strong mage leading a frightener. And you can't let the bandits in the lab. Right as usual, Triss. Geralt, you've dealt with mages. Find out what this one wants. Leo will guide you. Just reconnaissance, or...? No one will be sorry if some of them lose their heads. You'll manage, Wolf. Just remember Leo's with you. I can handle this. We'll see what's happening inside and be back. Take these potions just in case. Drink the Thunderbolt now and keep Swallow for when you need healing. I'll be able to tell you how they work. We'll make sure no one else gets inside. Triss, stay with us in case Savola has any new ideas. All right. To access items, open the inventory by left-clicking on the satchel icon or by pressing I. Right-click on the Thunderbolt potion to use it. So we're going to go in here, press I, and this is our inventory screen here. We've got our satchel with some of our potions, and the thunderbolts is what we're going to put on our quick slot. That will allow us to quickly get to that item in combat, though I usually will pause the game anyway when I'm doing those sorts of things, so the quick slot is not particularly useful to me. I'm always keeping an eye out for items. You want to try to gather as much loot as you can. All add up. 
All right, so before we go in there, let's go over here and pop our Thunderbolt. You just left click to use the potion. So move the cursor over an effect icon to see more information about the, the effect. So active effect icons appear in the ring around the medallion. So if we go up here, we can see that our Thunderbolt is giving us um, increased damage by 100%, but it has dropped our dodge and parry by 50%, and that lasts for eight hours. And I'm pretty sure that that eight hours is actually real time unless you fast forward uh, game time, which you can do. Could be wrong, though. Actually, I don't think that is real time. I think that's every couple of seconds is a minute or something like that. I'd have to look it up. I, I don't actually remember. I've heard all of Dandelion's ballads about you. Lambert tells me I'll never be as fast as a real witcher, but I managed to hit him during training today. You beat Lambert? Yeah, we were fencing on the floor pegs when that strange storm came. Lambert looked away, I did a pirouette, hit him right in the gut. Uh, he didn't fall, and then he beat me. You'll make a good swordsman yet. I know. <laughs> Every time Lambert beats me, he says I have potential. Well, that's awkward. All right, in OTS mode, double tapping a directional key, W, S, A, or D, to dodge enemies. So left click anywhere on the ground to move to that location. Move the cursor to the edge of the screen to rotate the camera. See, that's where things kind of get iffy is if I try to do this, it may it's quite slower than it would be normally. Um, for some reason, reason, my capture software slows it down. So, thinking we go back into this mode. Mess with me and die. So it doesn't really matter because I can middle mouse click to rotate it faster. Alright, took him out. Gotcha! Awesome. Let's move along. No dead loot? Aw oh, man, no loot. That's a shame. The group style is most efficient against groups of weaker opponents. Switch to this style by left clicking on the griffin icon or by pressing C. All right, so now we have our third style, which is group. So we're gonna have a group of guys coming in here and we'll be able to hit them all at once using the group style if they're close enough. It does minuscule damage to each individual, but overall they will all be damaged, and that is nice. Alright, well the other guy disappeared, he's over there fighting, so switching back to fast. We'll be switching up quite a bit of the uh, styles mid-combat. Got some loot we can grab. Ah, now we got some remains. Guy lost his head. These stairs lead to the lab. Follow me. The energy you annexed from the Circle of Elements is enough to stop the Witchers? You tremble, yet you complain Savola would have them all, leaving none for you. Did the sight of a single Witcher, White Wolf himself, instill fear? The aforementioned considered dead, I might add, is a known killer. I'll gladly challenge him. Leo, stand back. Come on, Professor. Time is essential. I wield the power of the Circle of Elements. They are no threat. Back to work. I want the mutagens ready for teleportation in 15 minutes. Our witches shan't trouble us.
We're cut off. The stairs are blocked. The magic barrier looks solid. We need Triss. They're robbing us. Geralt, clear the passage upstairs. Use a sign. A sign? The Ard. I can't do it since I broke my fingers training along the gauntlet. Cast the Ard at the debris. I don't remember the signs. Let's go to the Circle of Elements, a source of the power. You need to try and learn the Ard. All right. Now, Ard is one of the most powerful um, signs we're going to be getting in this game. That one and the Igni, which is the fire attack, are probably the two most useful in this game. And we'll be using them majority of the time. All right, so we left click on the elemental stone to learn a sign. Awesome. Success? We'll see in a minute. I knew it would work. Let's get back before Lambert kills the Frightener himself. I would say it was successful. The Ard sign is a telekinetic force useful for clearing obstructed pathways or for knocking back opponents. Right click on the target to cast the sign. Knock down or stunned enemies are easy to kill with a single strike, and that is what makes Ard so powerful in this game. Um, a lot of the bosses, you can really one-hit them just by arding them and then stabbing them, if I recall. Keep in mind, it has been about three years since I last played this game. Witcher 2 I played quite recently, but I digress. Boom! What did you learn? The bandits are in the lab. Searching for something. The mage used the circle of elements to create a magic barrier. The plague. You're all children. Why didn't you mention the circle? Triss, child. It didn't seem important. If the mage aligned with the circle, he can create a stable portal through which he'll travel to anywhere on the continent, taking your equipment with him. All right, we made a mistake. But you said the mage was harmless. I said I didn't know him. I think we should protect the lab above all. Don't panic, Marigold. We know you'd like to see our witch's secrets. Vesemir, if that idiot doesn't shut it, I'll... Enough! Lambert, stop baiting Triss. Show her some respect. Triss, if we go to the lab, they'll have us surrounded. We know tactics. Maybe we should split up. Geralt's right. We need to protect the lab and kill the Frightener. Who goes where? Only I can break the barrier. I'm going inside. Vesemir? I'll stay and handle the Frightener and Savola. What about you, Geralt? We may both need your help. All right, so we have two options here, and these actually do have consequences to them. I believe that the best option is going to be to go with Triss. Um, now, I don't know all the consequences related to every action in the game, but I do know this first one. And if we don't go with Triss, we're going to have to fight an extra boss later on that's going to make things a bit more difficult. So if I take care of that boss now by going with Triss, it will make things easier down the road. So that is what I'm going to do. The lab is important. I'm going with Triss. Me too. It's decided then. Eskel and Lambert will stay with me. Savola just cast a spell. Something's happening. The ground is shaking. Feel it? They're breaking through. My god. Quite a spell. Quickly, defend the laboratory. Also, if you stay out here and fight the Frightener, he's quite a bit more difficult than fighting uh, Savola inside. So I'd rather go inside. We'll let the others deal with it. This could be a hard fight, Geralt. Take this potion. Witchers call it the Tawny Owl. It restores endurance. Very useful when fighting mages. Thanks. Let's go. Also, I should mention that this game is very adult. It is, uh, which I like. I like the fact that there is actually an adult game these days. A lot of the people out there, or a lot of the developers out there, seem to try to cater to everyone. Uh, but this one has a lot of adult themes. Especially the second one.
You'll go no further, White One. I'll summon a powerful demon that will tear you apart. A bluff. He's exhausted from teleportation. Magic light is about all he can muster. Go. We'll deal with him and join you at the barrier. All right, it's boss fight time. Underestimating an opponent. Now the energy of my people will make me stronger. All right, so to start this fight, we have to make sure we take out these guys. So we're going to run up and hit them. Meanwhile, we're going to be hitting, being hit by the enemy. So if we can take him out quick enough, it won't really matter. So now I'm going to go into my inventory here. We're going to drink a swallow, which will give us some vitality recovery as we go through. So I selected it. Now when we unpause, he will drink it. And now we're going to go in for an attack. The rest is pretty straightforward. Geralt's endurance, indicated by the yellow bar, drops each time you use a sign. You cannot cast signs when endurance is too low. Endurance is restored over time. Use potions like the Towny Owl to accelerate its regeneration. Potions are something we'll be going into shortly, and they are a very key part of the game. Get out of town. Where are you going, buddy? You definitely want to make sure you drink that potion, otherwise you will not survive. Uh, but if you do drink it, it's pretty much an easy battle. One down. Nobody misses with Salamandra. Nobody. Yoink. It's kind of an awkward kill. I was like kind of jamming it in, but not really. Are you hurt? Did he get you? Nah. But if those were magic lights, I'd hate to face a truly powerful sorcerer. I wanted to help, but I couldn't break through that strange circle. Savola's eating dirt. That's what matters. We need to help Triss. Let's go. The dialogue in this game is quite well done. Same with the second game. One of the really good standout points of this game. I'm looking around, see if there's any loot. I am a loot whore. I will be grabbing all the loot. The other mage is... Uh, I underestimated him. Hurry. Alright. Let's go in. 